So, nandito kami ngayon sa may labas ng school. Then, today we will explore Davao. And, kasama ko si San Pedro, si Ang, si Batol, tsaka si Angga. So, samahan nyo kami as we explore Davao. See you later! So yun po no, mga ka-vlog boys po no So dito kami ngayon sa Milan <laughs> So ano Ngayon sasakay kami ng jeep Pupunta kami naman sa Isai Park So you're the guys Hindi namin na lang pang refresh Dahil mahinit dito ngayon sa so, Dabao The Magsai Isai Park is easily accessible By private or public transportation It's located in the main street of Leon Garcia Street Next to the Santa Ana Wharf Another historical landmark in Davao City, where in May 1903, the first wave of Japanese workers landed and served as agricultural workers. The park is open daily from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. So, yun nga guys, no? dito na kami sa May Santa Ana. Time check, uh, it's already 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So, malapit na kami dun sa pupuntahan namin. So, ito sila, mga kasama ko. Let's go for the goal! Magsaysay Park was built by the Davao chapter of the Philippine Veterans Legion and was turned over to the city government of Davao on July 31, 1960. This city landmark was built in honor of the most loved and revered president of the Philippines, Ramon Magsaysay. Magsaysay Park in Davao City is a beautifully landscaped public park that sits on a huge sprawling expanse that faces the clear blue waters of the Gulf of Davao with the Samal Island in the backdrop. Ayun guys, kakarating lang namin dito sa Magsaysay Park And let's explore this area Angga, ano nga meron dito? Uh, sa pagkakalam ko, may mga tribes daw dito eh So, yun, isa-isa natin yung aalamin pag ikot natin dito ngayon Tara! Handa na kayo? Let's go for the go! Let's go, let's go! The park is a popular venue for trade fairs, culture shows, craft sales, creativity workshops, and public forums by the indigenous communities all over Mindanao. One of those, the tribe of Bagoboklata, is a distinct ethnic group known as forest dwellers and field warriors. It's one of the most elaborately dressed tribe and for their finite history, inasmuch as it has a different culture and ancestral territory of its own. The Atas or Dwellers in Highlands are powerful people who appear to be a mixture of Nagritos and Malays. The Matig Saluk are an indigenous group who live along the Saluk River, now known as the Davao River, hence the name Matig Saluk. The Obu are a Manobo sub-tribe who inhabit the more isolated mountains of more southerly Davao this world. Did you know that aside from being known as the best, Galen, and ferocious freedom fighters of the world, the Taosub are famous for being the best pearl divers in the world. Taosub is one of the 11 tribes in Davao City and one of the largest of the Muslim, sometimes called Moro, ethnic groups of the southwestern Philippines. Magindanawans are known as the people of the floodplain in Mindanao originating from the province of Maguindanao. The Iranun were excellent in maritime activity as they are traditionally sailors and pirates. The Kagan people are known as agriculturists, cultivating rice, corn, abaca, and coconut for cash crops. The park also includes Bangsa Sama and Maranao Torogan. The Torogans are known to build noble ancestral houses and they are also known for the sophisticated weaving and wood and metal craft. While Bangsa Sama are one of the Bangsa Moro ethnic tribes in the Philippines, they are the Sama-speaking people widely known for their creativity and traditions. Also, 
They are considered the early settlers of the Samal Islands. At the center of the park is the 25-meter-long tripillar obelisk-like concrete tower that contains the life-size statue of President Magsaysay which serves as the main marker of the park. Here in Magsaysay Park, you can enjoy food leisurely while watching people doing various activities, such as high school students practicing for their PE performances, people dating, and those who exercise for their health. The park also promotes the floral industry of Davao, and as people visit the city, especially on annual Kadayawan festival in the third week of August, the locals get millions of sales from the industry alone. Did you know that Davao is the orchid capital of the Philippines? Outside the Magsaysay Park is the Magsaysay Fruit Vendors Association, which consists of a long row of fruit stands that sell fruits abundant in Davao region, especially durian, for which Davao City is known as the durian capital of the Philippines. They also have food souvenirs such as dried mango, popia, durian candies, banana chips, sweetened fruits, and so much more. Davao Chinatown is always associated with the Magsaysay Park since it is located just in front and that it is the only Chinatown located in Mindanao. People always enjoy the park with the stroll of this area which showcases different products at very affordable prices. The Chinatown was officially established in 2003 through an executive order issued by Mayor Rodrigo R. Duterte and encompasses an area where there is a high concentration of members of the Chinese Filipino community that has long been living and doing business in the city. The Chinatown also offers a lot of variety of food in which you can find in the stalls and restaurants. Lumpia, chicken skin, chicken proven, chicken intestine, hot dog on stick, quick quick, pak rice, buko juice, kalamanchi juice, iced tea, and takoyaki are few of the options you can enjoy. Sa halagang 20 pesos mo, may kanin, ulam, at inumin ka na. The places of Davao are definitely interesting. We hope that you visit and feel the greatness of Davao, especially the landmarks the city is so proud of. Just like how we love Ramon Magsaysay, we should revere the city and our country.